So now I want to welcome Mr. Greg Landeslide to the Landsman. show. Landsman, Landsman, Greg. Yeah, Landsman. here we go. Welcome. That you care. Thank here you for go. having me. It's yeah, quite a show. You. Yeah. So, Mr. Landeslide, <laughs> you. Landsman, Landsman. So, Greg, I'm I'm looking at your resume here. Yeah. I see that you started the the Every Child Capitalist <laughs> campaign, and well, I think that makes sense to me. But then I started to read the details, and it says what? It says, let us give these free books to economically disastrous children. And uh, he can't and I, read. <laughs> he needed one of those books. Well, my, my question is this. Yes. What, what happens there? Because all these booksellers, they're just trying yeah. to make a living. Yeah. And you are, I don't want to use the word communist, obviously. Yeah. On, yeah because I know that's probably not good for you. The books get paid for. We pay for the books. Okay. Uh, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's taxes. Yeah, fa- no, this was philanth- philanthropy does. So philanthropy pays uh, or paid for the books. And so the thing is, so when I was, well, I wasn't under five, but you know, I, they basically, they looked at my height and they let me sign up. <laughs> the thing is, they used to tell us this fairy tale that Dolly Parton uh, yeah. delivers the books to your house when you're asleep or yeah. something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. But Dolly but Parton that is seems huge to, on our island. Yeah, you seem to have it's, it's, her, yeah, yeah. it's her, found, she, I don't know what the number is. We've done, uh, we've done over a million books here in Cincinnati. I, she, she's been at this, it's her program. And they have a lot of critical theory in them, is what I'm hearing. No, there's no critical no. race theory. No critical theories, okay. They're just children. Mr. Landsman, I apologize on behalf of my guest. He knows nothing about politics, but I have come with some question, okay, questions. Okay, away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Senator Landsman, <laughs> what about Billy, a six-year-old vegan whose parents consistently forget that honey is not a vegan food? He lives without any basic human rights, consuming bee urine infested, supposedly vegan foods. What can you do for Billy? And Senator Landsman, yeah, what about Trisha, a 30-year-old real estate agent who despises using petroleum gas guzzling cars but can't currently afford an electric vehicle with all the options she needs, such as panoramic sunroof? What can we do for Trisha, Senator Landsman? And and Senator Landsman, let's not forget about Herman. Herman has created his own language, and yet everyone from his employer to his landlord insists that he translate all of his writings into English. Senator, how can we help her? It wasn't that how Burrow... It isn't wasn't that the uh, the content? No, no. This is just how I talk. Yeah, this is just how I talk. Oh, okay. It's because he's he the said, only one who knows these people. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know any of these people, so I'm not entirely sure how we can help. Billy Trisha Herman. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> I just, I hope there's a way to help. I don't know. I, I, I I'm not clear. Well, let, me, let me ask you about what about this? Hoji? He's yeah. stuck on a dead end job. Yeah. Hosting some show supposedly about the Bengals. Yeah, yeah. What can you do for Hoji? No, I'm kidding. I just hug him, you know, and tell him that he's I loved. Him. And, yeah, you know, and that he's special and not to give up. So I will step in <laughs> because my co hosts just cannot be trusted with company. So Greg and I have known each other for a long time doing work for kids and families. And so one of the things I love about being a Bengals fan is getting to celebrate the city of Cincinnati and doing great things. Tell us a little bit like about your Bengals fandom, but also like, what does this mean for the city? And how are you thinking about just making Cincinnati the best that it can be? So it's a huge thing for the uh, the city to have the Bengals be as successful as they were uh, last year. I mean, economically, it's a it's huge boost, uh, you know, in terms of just the amount of people around the the country, around the world that are watching Cincinnati, thinking about visiting Cincinnati. I've tried to get, you know, to games here and there, but I always regret it because I'm just so emotional that I just, it's easier to watch at home. Oh, no, we're out of time. Yeah. Well, Greg, I mean, I mean, he paid a, a a very huge sum to be on I paid show. absolutely nothing but to exactly be on this show. For seven minutes. That, that's a huge sum around here. That's like our paychecks. <laughs> yeah, that's how much but we get paid too. The, the so. question the question of Senator Landsman is what did you pay in dignity? Because you've <laughs> lost a lot of it by coming here. But Mr. Landslide, so I want to go to <laughs> patreon.com slash DH Sports and I want to tell you about our campaign. And our campaign yeah. is very much tied to the Bengals' success as well. The more they win, the more money we make also and so the Bengals okay they were not winning for a long time and so we were just getting by with with five patrons for about fifty dollars a month then they go to the Super Bowl and we're up to six believe it or not six patrons (laughs) 
And the thing is, that is how we buy so much of the greatest stuff that we do for Bridget. We got her, uh, well, we, we told her to steal a laptop stand from her work. <laughs> that was, and uh, we got, yeah, we got her lights from Walmart that um, sometimes work. And so I'm asking you to do what you can when you're on the streets, talking to the people, speaking the truth. Get out there and tell them, look, support the Namun Bengals podcast if you love your city, if you love your community. Yeah. So, yeah. What, I will what share do you have it. to say? Yeah. We I need a 13th it. member of the Supreme Court to send it to Lansman. Do it for us. Yeah, I will I will definitely uh, share it and I will be I will be a viewer. I will I will be a fan. Uh, this was very fun. 